Hey everyone, it's Camille from Camille I Am. I've been seeing some amazing pie crust designs floating around Pinterest lately, and since Thanksgiving is right around the corner, I thought I would show you three easy ways to wow your guests with your pie crusts. In this tutorial, I will only be showing you the pie crust recipe and the pie crust designs so that you will be able to fill your pie with any of your favorite Thanksgiving pie fillings. The things you will need for the pie crust are one egg, two and a half cups of flour, one fourth teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, one fourth of a cup of shortening, 12 tablespoons of butter, make sure it is cold and cut into cubes, a pastry blender, and one fourth of a cup of ice water. First, what you're gonna need to do is add in your flour, sugar, and your salt. And then you're just gonna whisk that all together, just lightly. Then you're gonna add in your butter. And your shortening. And then taking a pastry blender, you're going to just mix that up until it's all incorporated into the flour. This might take a little bit, so just keep mixing until the mixture is crumbly. Once your dough is a crumbly mixture like this, you're going to add in your ice water one tablespoon at a time and keep mixing until you have your dough-like consistency. Keep mixing your dough until it's this dough-like consistency and then you're going to cut your dough in half and set one half aside because you're gonna roll each half out separately. So then you're going to roll this half up into a ball. And then what I've done is cut out a piece of parchment paper and we're going to set another piece of parchment paper on top and roll it out. Once you have rolled out your pie crust until it's really thin, you're just gonna take the pie pan that you're going to be using and place it over the pie crust just to measure and to make sure that your pie crust is going to fit. It should have about an inch around the edge um, so that it can set into the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is flip over your pie crust and then taking your rolling pin you're going to roll it up onto the rolling pin. Just like this. And then take your pie pan and unroll it over the top. And then take your parchment paper off the top. It might stick to some edges, but I'm gonna just peel it off as good as you can. And then just push it down into the bottom. Once you have your pie crust set in your pie pan how you want it, this is where you would add your filling. You can add whatever filling you want, I just made a caramel apple pie filling that I will be using today, and the link to this recipe is on my blog. This is where you're going to start your pie crust designs. The first pie crust design that I'm going to show you is where there's going to be a bunch of pie crust leaves covering the whole top. So just to start off this pie crust design, all we need to do is scallop the edges and you're just going to pinch 
the pie crust together with your fingers until your edges are scalloped. Okay, once you have scalloped all of your edges, this is what it will look like. And then we're going to set this aside for a minute. And we're going to roll out the other half of our pie dough, just like this. And then taking these little pie dough cutters, um, I'll put the link below so that you can get them for yourself. Um, we're just going to cut out little leaves into the pie dough. And I have a couple different ones that come that came in the set. Once you have punched out all of your shapes into your pie dough, you're just going to peel the edges away from the shapes and set all the shapes aside. Okay, so now we're gonna put all of our pie shapes onto our pie. And what we're gonna do is just put them on the edge at first, um, alternating between shapes just to make a pattern. And you're gonna work all the way around to the middle in this same pattern. The next design I'm going to show you how to make is a woven plaid pattern. What I've done is I've put a piece of parchment over my rolled out pie dough that has a straight edge. And then with a pizza cutter or a pie dough cutter, you're just going to cut out strips of pie dough in two different sizes. There's going to be one fatter size and a really skinny size. And you're going to cut out four fat sizes and 14 of the skinny ones. Taking another pie, we're going to cover the top with our woven plaid pattern. So first we're going to take our fat strips and lay them over the top in a crisscross pattern. And then taking your skinny strips, you're going to lay them over the top. Once we've laid all of our crisscross pattern, we need to remove the extra on the edge. So we're just gonna take a knife and just cut it off. Now we've taken some of the extra pie dough that we had from cutting the strips before and rolled it out into a long strip. And then I've just cut even strips like this. So we're going to peel those away. And we're gonna take three at a time and kind of put them together at the top. And then you're just going to loosely braid them like you would braid your hair all the way down. I finished braiding all of my pie strips so that they'll fit all the way around my pie. I ended up making three long strips and then kind of one half one. So all you need to do is just place them around the pie and at the edges kind of just push them together so that they look like one consecutive braid.
The third design I'm going to show you how to make is where there are going to be leaves all around the edge with a pie crust rose arrangement off to one side. So taking a small circle cutter, this one that I'm using is just a small biscuit cutter, you'll cut out some circles, four circles is going to make two roses, and then using the leaf cutter, you'll just cut out some more leaves. And then get four of your pie crust circles and set them on top of each other like this. And then you're just going to roll them up. And then taking a knife, you're going to cut it in half and then kind of just shape the bottom like this. And then turn it over and just spread the leaves out so it looks more like a rose. Then you're going to do that to the other one. And then you're going to make two more with your other four circles. Then you're gonna peel all the rest of the leaves off of the edge of the pie crust and then we'll put the pie together. For this design, we're going to use the same um, woven plaid pattern and we're going to put all of the leaves on the edge. like that and then we're going to place our roses over on one side so I ended up having to make five roses just to make it look how I wanted to and then I cut out some more leaves than what I showed and I just placed the leaves around the roses to complete the arrangement And then taking a knife, we're just going to add some veins to the leaves. When you are ready to bake any of your pies, make sure to preheat your oven to 375 and then beat one egg and brush it all over the top. And then once you have done that, you're just going to bake your pie for 20 to 25 minutes or until the pie crust is golden brown. And here's what it will look like when it's all baked. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below and tell me what your favorite Thanksgiving pie is. Also let me know if you try out any of these pie crust designs for Thanksgiving. I will be linking my blog in the description below with the recipe and more pictures of all three of these pie crust designs. So make sure to check that out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!